we previously talked about observational research, we talked about it in terms of marketing research, in terms of sociology, in terms of ethnography, looking at cultural studies as a part of anthropology. But we want to talk about observational research here in the context of more medical research. And that's because uh, we're going to be talking about experimental design and there is overlap between observational studies and more of that medical discipline and the experimental design process. So we want to be kind of clear in terms of the different approaches. So in this video, we're going to look at observational research more from that medical perspective. All right, so an observational research or observational study is where we are observing uh, individuals, right, in their natural habitat, how they behave, how they act. And if we're distinguishing observational research versus experimental design, observational research doesn't have an intervention or a treatment. So experimental design, what we're going to see is that we have one group that is given some kind of protocol process. Maybe they're given a drug, maybe they're given certain behaviors to do, a certain diet. And then the other group is the control. They aren't given that particular treatment or process or behavior. And then we compare the two. Well, with an observational study, there is no intervention or treatment. So we are simply observing their behavior. Now, with an observational study, we can show association, but we cannot show causation. So one of the reasons that experimental research is what we focus on in, say, medical research is because we really do want to get to that causation. But to get to a causation, you really have to have a control group where you the only difference between the two different groups is that one thing that you're trying to see, its impact. And so in order to see cause, right, we have to control for everything else. All of our other studies that we've been doing, where we talk about surveys and focus groups and observational research, we are only looking at relationships. We're not looking at one thing causing another, but simply that phenomenon happened to be both occurring or that opinions both happen to be at the same time. There's some kind of relationship there, but we don't or can't get to actual cause. When we're looking at observational study, uh, we are comparing that to a um, designed experiment. And so in our designed experiment, we have where we are manipulating something, right? As I was saying a moment ago, where you keep everything else the same and you change one thing. So if we're designing an experiment that wants to study, let's say a diet, what we try to do is put into those two groups. We might have people that have um, the same kind of body mass index, the same uh, gender, different components that different characteristics we try to match them so we have the same characteristics in both groups and one is going to do the diet and the other's not or we can do a procedure where we do a treatment for a period of time something doesn't have long lasting impact we might do something for a period of time to see if there's an impact and then I have a period of time with that same person where they're doing something else. So then we have completely controlled for the differences in people by having the same person be in, in both groups. So we have different methods for designing the sample um, in that um, experimental design.